Saving basil seed is such an important skill. I'm going to show you how to harvest your basil seeds or save your basil seeds. Way down there I have this gorgeous basil plant that's all gone to seed. I'm going to show you exactly how to save your seeds. But first I'm going to show you some plants in different varieties, and, or excuse me, different uh, stages of growth. These are just a few seeds I threw in here a few weeks ago under this tomato plant. And this was grown... Um, they were direct seeded. I was going to say, did they have a dome? They didn't. These are sweet basil or Genovese basil. Here they are at the next level. I, I love basil. I mean, I put it in all my salads, a lot of my stir fries and uh, pesto. So I ha always have a bucket growing at some uh, level. None of these have gone to seed yet. And they're the really tender, you know, just beautiful, rich, sweet seeds of the basil taste. Now this one here has been going quite a while. You can see how tall it is. And two of the branches have gone to seed. Let me see if I'm stepping on my carrots here. You can see back there. See that one right there? That one has started to go to seed. And this one has as well. Let me focus that for you. Oh, I can't get that to focus. Um, there it is. Now it hasn't turned brown yet, so we can't save these seeds, but that's what it starts to look like. And in the beginning, when they start going in the heat of summer, I'll just pick them off. I'll just go in with my thumb and just pick those seeds right off. And that's what I've done with these. That's why they are not going to seed, and I'm still getting more basil leaves. We've had a really hot, hot summer. Um, they look a little bit wilty, but they're not. They're fine. And they have a few bug bites in them. Now that one probably is a little more buggy than I would use, but I will definitely use leaves that have bug bites in it. A lot of people don't, but I don't mind at all. I just pick off the bug, bug lips part <laughs> and I keep using it. Um, so anyway, this is what they look like and you can just have it going all summer long. Now we're going to run down um, and see the plant that's already gone to seed. So sit tight. So here's the basil plant, bottom to top. And you can see most of the basil's gone. It's almost all flower seed pods. There it goes all the way up to that last little one right there. And you can see some of them are green, and some of them are light brown, and some are darker brown. And some are kind of a transition between brown and green. So we're going to show you exactly how to pick them, what you're looking for. And the whole plant was filled with giant sweet basil seeds. And I've, I've taken them all the leaves off and believe it or not, it's still growing. We're at the end of August here. I'm still getting fresh new leaves that I'm using every day while I'm waiting for this to go to seed. I'm not watering it per se. I mean, the rain's raining on it, but um, the more I water it, the slower the dark seeds, um, the, seed, the slower the seed pods dry out. And I really want them to hurry up and dry out so I can take these seeds, pull this plant and uh, put some winter crops in. So let's pull some seeds. So I'm pretty tripod challenged, but I'm using a tripod today so I can use both hands. So let's see how we do. It's, it's, gonna, it's a gamble. Okay, so the ones you want, let me, let me show you one that is in transition. See this one right here, dark at the bottom, and it's mixed, mixed, and then light yellow, and then all the way up to green at the top. Okay, so that one, all we can really pull are the bottom ones. Um, this one here has been broke. These two have been broken off. See, I'm already lifting. These two have been broken off and kind of bent, so they completely went to dark sea pods. So those we're going to take all of them. So I've just got this bucket down here, and I'm going to just strip them because uh, let me tell you how the, how the seeds are formed. Now, when they're upright like this, this is how they are on the plant. You have these little pods that go all the way around. There are five of five, one, two, three, four, five of them. Each one of these five you can pull off, and it has three or four seeds inside. Okay? So there are so many different ways you can save basil seeds, but I'm going to show you the way I do because you all know I, I love seed saving, and I actually like doing them by hand, um, you know, one at a time. But right now I'm just pulling these out with my nail, and they're going right in the bucket, and there are four little seeds in there. So the point I'm making is that these are facing down. So if you don't pull these seeds, I can't tell if you're focused there. If you don't pull these seeds, they will fall out the pods down on the ground. That's the way they're obviously designed by nature. So when they're upside down like this, the seeds aren't going to fall in as easily. But I'm just going to take it and strip the whole um, bunch of them and put them in my bucket. And this one right here because I like to pull them off by hand. 
Now, other people would just take this, let's take this one over here, and then they would just rub it between their hands, like that really fast, and then all the seeds would fall in, and all the chaff, and all the straw, the you know, the, the weed part, the surrounding pod part, and the stem, and all of it. And that's fine. That's a perfect way to do it. Again, it's just not like the way I like to do it. So you can see I'm stripping only the dark ones, and I'm leaving these green ones on, because they're going to be fine in about a week or so. See, I'm taking all these right up to there. Um, and these are totally ready. I've already saved like probably a thousand seeds from this plant. Right in the bucket. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to give you the idea. And a lot of them are falling on the ground here, which is fine. It's just they're going to reseed themselves. But see, I am doing this. A lot of people just leave them to reseed for next year. I don't like to do that because I may want to seed them in other places in the yard or in the garden and uh, put them in other buckets and plant them all around. So I don't mind if it seeds itself somewhat, but uh, I don't want to just count on it seeding here. Okay, just going to get the last few and then I'll show you how they look when they're opened up. Okay, I have stripped my little basil plants to the bone. Look at all those. There are another thousand <laughs> seeds in there easily. And I still have twice as many left as I have in this bucket right here that are going to mature soon. I just thought I'd show you a little close-up of this little sweet thing. Oh, mosquito. Ah, sorry. See the little open channels? That's where the three to four seeds are in each one of those little pods. So that would be nine to 12 seeds right there. And then this one here is just a good close up of how they look. I just think they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now I have so many, there's no way I'm gonna pick these all open by hand. I'll probably do it for an hour just because it's like meditation to me. It's so relaxing. And then I'll do the shaking a hand method together where I'll just take them and I'll just go like this. And then what you can do is just blow the shaft off. Let me do a couple here with you. See? Just open it up. Nail. Done. Open it up. Nail. Done. So here's what they look like. I forgot my little dish. Tiny little guys. So imagine this whole plant that I showed you came from one seed. I mean, clearly I don't need this many seeds, but I give them away and they last for years. And then next year and the year after I won't have to save seeds. They'll last quite a while. So this has just been a really good crop this year. So that is how to save basil seeds. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're going to do it. Drop down in the comment section and let me know if you have a different method. Sorry, that mosquito is still chasing me. It's like 7 o'clock, so it's uh, mosquito time. Um, if you're saving your basil seeds, how do you do it? Do you do the hands together method? Um, some people say they shake them in a bag, but that doesn't work with these because those seeds are really embedded down there. You saw I had to dig with my nail to get them to fall out. Um, I mean, you'd get some if you shook it in a paper bag. Like if I poured all these seeds here in a paper bag and shook it, a small amount of them would come out. Let me pour these all in. Um, but you would not get them all. I, you would actually have to rub them with your hands really vigorously to get them um, to have the seeds all fall apart. And then blow and shake and blow and shake. It's almost as much, it's more work to do that, I think, to separate it all. Or you don't even have to separate it. You can just put all the shaft in with the seeds and save them, uh, but I like them more clean than that. So anyway, this is how to save your basil seeds. Um, make sure you check out my seed saving playlist. I have about five as of this time, 2016 August, uh, different seed saving videos for you. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more because it is one of my absolute favorite parts of growing my own food. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending you much love from my garden to yours. Take care, bye-bye.